What's up, every... Sorry, I thought I saw a dog. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria and today I'm going to be sharing my experiences with you guys about the cash envelope system. So if you haven't heard about the cash envelope system, I do recommend that you go ahead and do some research on Google and on YouTube. Look up all the vlogs and all of the um, videos about how people use this system and how it's benefited them. I will say that my video isn't going to be about the history or about what the cash envelope system is in entirety. It's just going to be about my experiences and my advice to you guys. So if you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned. The first thing I want to talk about is what is the cash envelope system? So the cash envelope system is something that was set into place by Dave Ramsey. If you haven't heard of him, you probably should know who he is. He's awesome. It's basically a budgeting system. It helps you budget your money, save money, categorize your money, and then also assigns a value to every single dollar that you make. So in my opinion, it's kind of like you have a set of envelopes, you have a certain amount of envelopes in different categories and you put the same amount of cash into it each and every single month and that's how much you have for that category throughout the month. You can do it multiple ways. You can do it bi-weekly, you can do it weekly, you can do it monthly. I do it monthly because I get paid monthly so it makes more sense for me to do it like that but there's multiple ways you can go about doing it. Why I find it useful is because I'm a young adult, I have student loans to pay, I have a savings account that I want to build up and I just want to be a better manager of my money. I want to manage my money well and efficiently. So for me, the cash envelope system was something I was a little scared about at first. I'll go more into details about my experience, but I will say um, I do see a lot more young adults doing it, especially in my friend group, and I think it's become increasingly popular over the past couple of years. Essentially, what it helps you to do is to save money um, for me. I see how I save money because I have a certain amount of money that I want to put into my student loans and then also into my savings account each month. So once I cover my fixed expenses, so I still have rent, I have bills, I have loans, and then I have my savings. Once I cover those fixed expenses, then what I have left over is what I use for my cash envelopes. The reason why I started using this system is because I was just shocked at how bad my budgeting skills were and how much I was spending money on food. So one day I had a friend who had been using the system for a while and um, she's really good at finance and everything like that. So she sat down with me and we looked over my monthly expenses for January and February of 2018. I had spent over $250 in one month just on like eating at fast food restaurants. I'm disgusted with myself because why are you eating that much fast food? And two, like this is a lot of money, $250 per month. Mind you, I didn't have an apartment, I didn't have bills or anything like that yet, but still, the fact that I was spending that much money on food, I was just, that's just, I don't know. I, I can't explain that. After seeing that, after seeing that dollar amount that I had spent on food, not just food, but all clothes too, but mainly the food, I was like, all right, something's got to change. I got to do something. Like I told myself I wanted to be a better manager of my money, so that now is the time. So basically what she had me do was set up a spreadsheet on Google Drive, um, kind of categorizing all of my expenses, and then, of course, inputting how much money I was making per month, and then all those expenses, and then once they're subtracted, how much you have left for me. So that's pretty much what I did. If you want an example about the template that we used for the spreadsheet, I can do a totally different video for that. I think it would just be too much to cover in this, but if you want that, let me know. After we did that and I input all my expenses for January and February, that's when I realized, okay, maybe there's something else that I can be doing because using just swiping my card was not helping at all because it's, it's easy to just look at a, a lump sum of money and say, wow, I have so much money. And then by week two, after you've been paid, it's just like, where did that money go? So <laughs> that's how I view it. Like, if I see a large amount of money, I'm just going to think like, oh, I really have this much money to spend on this category, when that's really not the case. She told me about the cash envelope system, and I was like, I don't know about that. I don't like the idea of having cash on me like that, or that much money on me in the first place. And she kind of explained to me, like, you don't have to do that. She just has envelopes in her apartment somewhere safe. And then she takes certain envelopes for the day depending on what she's doing that day. So if she needs to go to the grocery store, 
take the grocery envelope and take it with her and that's it that's all that she spends so i was like uh, i guess i get it but still it's like cash cash is so old school don't mind me you guys like i'm i've totally changed it's a year from when i first said that so not the same person anymore <laughs> i was still a little hesitant on it i will tell you Here's what I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you something that I did, which is really stupid. I thought it was smart. In my head, it was really smart. But actually doing it was the hardest and most confusing thing ever. So I decided to roll with it, with the envelope system, but I wasn't going to do cash. What I was going to do were receipts. I know, it sounds stupid, right? So I was still going to swipe my card like normal. Let's just say I go to the grocery store and I need to get some toiletries. Um, I need paper towels and toilet paper or whatever. I'll swipe my card and I have my toiletry envelope with me. And on the envelope I'll have written like how much I have budgeted for that amount. So let's just say I had $50 budgeted, spent $20 at the grocery store, that leaves $30 left. So on the envelope I would write how much I spent at the grocery store that day and then that's how much I have left in my account for that category. It makes a lot of sense because if you're like me and you didn't like carry cash if you don't like to carry cash like that makes a lot of sense but it can be a little confusing and a little overwhelming especially if you're going to HEB or to like these or to Target or something and you're getting groceries clothes and and toiletries like you're getting three different categories all in one swipe and of course you could just go in and out of the store but that's doing the absolute most and I wasn't about to do that so I had three different categories on one card swipe and so I'd have to go home, look at the receipt and figure out how much I spent in each different category. So I'd have to calculate, okay, this item was a toiletry, this was clothing, this was clothing, this was grocery and then I'd have to subtract it from each three, all three of those envelopes and that just got really, really confusing and then the question is where do you put that receipt, like where are you supposed to keep it? So let me show you what I used for my cash envelope system back when I did receipts. So I have this right here. They have the categories in it, like I have car, entertainment, beauty, prescription, savings, things like that. In here, there's also some sticky notes. So let's just say when I went to go get groceries, I put the grocery receipt in there, but then I also had the sticky note where I'd write the amount. So I had like the number, that I, um, the budget that I had, and then every single time I'd spend, I'd have to like cross it out and write the new budget that I had, or write how much was left over. And that was just too much. It was just like, what the heck are you doing? You're just working, overworking yourself. And so I eventually realized I should probably switch over to the cash envelope system, which I did. Um, it wasn't easy at first, I will say. It took me about three or four months to kind of get used to it. It's different whenever you're so used to swiping your card all the time and then going back to cash and oh I have to make sure I have this envelope with me when I go out because otherwise I can't spend any money. Things like that. So it took me a little while to get used to but I will let you know um, how I started it. So of course that budget spreadsheet helped me to see what categories I needed, how much I had left over. So after I calculated um, my monthly income and then I had my fixed expenses so I had my rent I had my utilities I had my internet my savings and my student loans so after I took all of that money out of my account I had a certain lump sum of money left over so with that lump sum of money that's what I could use for the cash envelopes that's whenever I had to figure out how much money do I want to go into each envelope so that's when I kind of had to think a little bit like how much is this practically for for me each month? Do I spend this much money each month? Or is it like every now and then? All that kind of stuff. So once I figured out how much I wanted to budget for each category, that's whenever I decided, okay, maybe it's time for me to go to the bank and look through all this money. Mind you, you can go to the ATM and do it, but the thing is, is that my ATM at least only gives you 20s and you can't break down your money like how you need to. So let's say you have like, $25.50 in one envelope, you can't really break down the, that, the 20s into $25.50. So another thing that I had to do was within each category to figure out how many 10s do I need, how many 20s do I need, how many 5s do I need. Once I figured all of that out, that's when I decided I could go to the bank, go to the bank teller, ask them to withdraw this amount of money, and then just give me 12 20s, 10 5s, and things like that.
like that. That'll make your life a lot easier, I promise. Make sure that you have have the amount of dollar bills that you need so that you can tell the person who's giving it to you and you can just easily just split up your money like that. So one thing about the cash envelopes is that when I started using them, I had to be a little more intentional about what I was doing when I was outside of the house. So if I were at the grocery store and I randomly decided I wanted to go to the movies, I had to think about it and realize, oh, I can't go to the movies because I don't have an envelope for it. Things like that. I just had to be really intentional, which I guess is good because you're not just spending money left and right. You kind of have to put some thought into it. Um, for some people that works, for some people it doesn't. For me, I like it because I like to be intentional about where I'm going, what I'm doing. Um, so I loved that aspect of it. Sometimes if I had no choice, like if I couldn't just run back home, grab my envelope, I would have to pull money from another envelope and then just pay myself back later. That's totally fine as long as I remember to pay myself back, like, or just move the money back. Now that we've kind of talked a little bit about how I got started and how I use them, let me just go ahead and show you the categories and the envelopes that I use. So I have a total of eight envelopes, and this is what they look like. Very colorful, very vibrant and bright. I just wanted them to look like that. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube and I think a lot of uh, posts on Pinterest about how you can make your own cash envelopes. You know, ones with the flaps, uh, ones with craft paper, things like that. I actually used to use the um, paper ones, the paper envelopes, and they were fine. They did okay. I just wrote the category on the outside of it. The only thing is that they would get dingy and ratty really easily, and um, sometimes the zipper of my wallet would like get the paper, catch the paper, and then it just rip everything, and it's just bad. So. I decided to go for more durable ones, so I just took some color paper, laminated it, and then stapled them on the sides, and then added the labels. But um, like I said, there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how you can make your own envelopes. So the categories that I have, first is for gas, groceries, miscellaneous, toiletries, entertainment, breakfast and lunch, prescription, and card. So most of these are ones that I don't necessarily have to spend money on. Like for instance, entertainment, that's mainly for movies. Like I said, I'm a movie goer. I love going to the movies. I live right across the street from a movie theater. So it makes a lot of sense for me. Um, this can be used for that if you want to use it for Spotify. I consider Spotify as one of my fixed expenses, but that's just me. Um, if you go bowling, go skating, whatever you want to do, that's what this would be considered for. Another one that I don't really have to spend money on is probably food to eat out with. I mean, yeah, it's nice, it's a luxury, but I don't really have to. Um, another one is miscellaneous. The only reason why I have miscellaneous is because if I have a coworker's birthday and I want to buy them some cupcakes or if I want to buy them, um, I don't know, a card or something, that's where I can pull the money from. Usually miscellaneous is just the money that like has no category and it's just stuff that comes out of the blue. The rest of these, honestly, I would consider as a fixed variable. So the ones like groceries and toiletries, gas, uh, even prescription. So those are ones that I actually do need to have every single month. But the reason why I call them fixed variables is because I don't spend the same amount on them each and every single month. So for groceries, I can spend $100 one month. The next month I can only spend 50 because I had so many left over from the first month. Things like that. Gas money, gas prices are down, so I really have been saving a lot, which I absolutely love. Thank you, Jesus. I've been saving a lot of money on gas because the gas prices have been so low. Um, prescription, if I just don't need a prescription anymore, I don't have to spend that money. So I will say I withdraw the same amount each month for it. It's just as far as how much I spend on it, that's the one that varies. Does that make sense? I don't know if that made sense, I'm sorry. So yeah, those are pretty much my categories and my envelopes. Um, I have a total of eight. Um, you can have 10, 12, 15, however many you feel like you need. Um, for me, I feel like eight is a good number. I don't carry all of these envelopes with me. Um, like I said earlier, I don't like carrying a lot of cash. And also, this is like really bulky too, and it wouldn't fit into my wallet, right? This is what my wallet looks like, and this is what the envelopes, like the envelopes fit perfectly fine. It's just, I just can't have all of them in there. Um, so what I do is I take a certain amount of envelopes, or I take certain ones. Those are the ones that I carry with me all the time, and I'll show you which ones I use. It's mainly the gas, miscellaneous, and breakfast and lunch. 
lunch. So these are the ones that I always carry with me. Gas because you never know in case of emergency. Miscellaneous because it's miscellaneous, you don't know. And breakfast and lunch because if I just randomly feel like getting something after work, I can just get it or if I feel like getting some coffee, I'll just go ahead and get it. So that concludes my video on the cash envelope system. I hope that it made sense. If you guys have any questions or if you want me to do another tutorial on how I do my budget, then please let me know and I can gladly do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and got something out of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!